already. I'm going to DMZ zone. Not sure if you can hear me, but I'm the only one here. So it will be a fun day. Just having my iced coffee. Vanilla, I have to say. Very nice, not too sweet, shockingly. And yeah, I'll speak to you later. So we saw one on the other side of the river and there's like a memorial through it was about the Korean War and there was this letter which honestly made me cry. I was like a little, little crying baby but it was so nicely written and it was from a student I believe he was like 16, 17 so it was really like heartbroken but yeah now I'm on my way back but I do last uh, two attractions on the other side and then we go to DMZ properly. Got myself a traditional rice cake and sausages as a snack, and then we go into DMZ. Yeah, that is massive. Wow. 
I'm such a tourist now. They suggest me to buy three, but I, I only yeah, choose one. Yeah. Hello, hello, another day in Seoul. Well, again, it's like two o'clock. Um, as you saw yesterday, I went to DMZ, which was actually a really good experience. I really enjoyed that. And then I met my friend for dinner. We went to the fish market, got some low sushi again. I had the raw octopus, which shockingly was very nice. I really enjoyed it. So that was a good good thing to try. And then we had some prawns as well. Uh, yeah, drink a little bit. Had a few soju tonic drinks and then I went home and pass out because I was tired. Like it took a lot because the DMZ tour was supposed to be only to like from like eight to two with like, you know, hour, hour and a half going there. However, when we got in, it got all delayed. So instead of going at 10, we've been moved to going to 12. So we need to somehow spend like two hours around there. There wasn't as that much to do, obviously. So I was just kind of like walking around, trying to see everything and yeah it just made me really tired and then when i got into seoul i was starving because i didn't eat that much you saw i had that um what did i had that skewer the rice cakes and sausages with the spicy sauce and that was essentially it so yeah not nothing crazy but today is wednesday so i have like today tomorrow and friday basically left and so i'm gonna go now check another palace to unesco shrine and then to hanak village different hanak village that i've been before
Good morning. Again, morning. I never report after. But yesterday, the plan was go to Shrine. Didn't go there because there was only guided tours available. And the one was like, I think at five. And I was like, well, I'm not wait waiting for that. Plus, I don't really like guided tours. I like when I can go on my own, get a leaflet, explore, read, see, check, whatever I want. So, instead, I went to another palace. Which again, I can't fucking pronounce, but that's okay. So you have seen that. And then I went to... Is it Bakchon? Bakchon Hanok village? It is beautiful, but the tourists, it's like... Because people actually live there, so it's residential. So there's actually people on the bottom of a street and on top of the street saying like, it needs to be quiet, you know, just take a picture, keep moving, don't shout, da 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 da. But some of the people, I was just like, you have no fucking menace, anyways. But yeah, no, that village beautiful. Like, I would love to live with something like that. I I thought it was beautiful. So you saw a couple of clips from there, and then, and then I met my friends. We could barbecue, which you've seen as well. And then we just chill, had a couple of drinks, and then I went home and slept. So not much was happening. And then today. I was absolutely knackered because yesterday I walked so much, like my feet was literally killing me and I have a blister as well, so we love that. So it's like 11.30, I just went to a convenience store, get myself a breakfast, so I'm gonna eat that now and then I'm going to Mapogu and then I won't get, at 4 I'm getting my tattoo. So I'm just thinking I'm gonna be just browsing around there, get nice coffee, maybe dessert, and then get a tattoo. And then later on, I'm meeting again my friend. And I think the plan is we're gonna go again to that beer place, to Kiva, because I really enjoyed it and wanna go. And then I think we're gonna check, because I think, see, so yeah, I'm jumping from one to another, but today is again 26 degrees. So it's very hot, very sunny and i think it would be nice if we can go to uh if we can go to han river check the bridge fountain get the food there just chill you know relax and tomorrow is my last day so tomorrow i will do a bit more bits and bobs and then i have a show which i'm gonna go watch with another friend have a dinner and that will be it for my trip because on saturday i'm literally just gonna pack and get to the airport all right i'm gonna show you my breakfast so i got kimbap as per usual or oh, bibimbap kimbap bibimbap i still don't know really the the difference but it's okay then i got shin ramen again with the rice i got meat on a stick i got kimchi of course and i got myself uh, just ice black coffee with this i believe this one is the viral viral <laughs> viral uh, banana milk so i'm gonna do milk and the coffee together it looks like lots and it is lots of food but but i realize since i'm here i'm not really eating i'm not eating enough i usually have just the bibimbap or kimbap roll and coffee in the morning and then obviously i'm out and about and i'm just like okay i need to see this i need to see that and i'm kind of forgetting to eat and then i have the dinner in the evening but then because i'm like so tired I don't want to eat like a big amount so and today I have quite a busy day plus I have the tattoo and I'm very annoyed because my tattoo appointment got rescheduled for tomorrow so I was literally waiting I was literally waiting for because it's so hot, I was like, you know, I don't want to go around. So I had like a big breakfast and I was chilling. I was catching up on stuff. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to go to get there for four. And I got the message being like, oh, it's an emergency. Can you do it tomorrow? So I'm going to do it tomorrow. But now I have like three hours to do something. Because then I have already plans for later. We're supposed to be after the tattoo. So I'm like, 
uh, I'm annoyed, I'm stressing because I don't know what to do. I feel like I don't have enough time to do the stuff which I kind of want to do, so yeah. Okay, new plan. I'm gonna go to Gangnam. I'm gonna check a Royal Tom's. I hope they pronounce that that way. And then the shopping center with the library. And then it's only like two, three stops from from the Rainbow Fountain Bump or Bridge, where I'm meeting later my friends. So let's go. and I'm probably wearing the same outfit but this is the outfit that I'm going always downstairs to get myself a food enjoying iced coffee really nice I think this one is vanilla yeah I got a milky one today I was like why not um and then yeah yesterday actually it turned out to be a really nice day so I did visit the Royal Toms then I went to see the Starfield uh, library bit underwhelming but then in the same time it was i enjoyed it because the books and seeing the display was really nice then i met with my friends we got actually italian for dinner which was a bit surprising but it was because by the by the river when we watched the fountain uh we thought there would be like food trucks but the food trucks are there only on the weekend not during the weekdays so we went to the first kind of restaurant that was there which was italian I had creamy mushroomy pasta which was actually really delicious we had salad as well it, it felt weird to eat actually normal food and not korean one not gonna lie uh then we grabbed a couple of beers watched the fountain watched the little like you know performance like oh, is it called performance i don't even know and then we went uh to uh the photo booth because i haven't done it yet so we took some pictures which are now really cute and then we got some john which is essentially a pancake we got mung beans and pork i believe it was delicious and then i tried two types of makoli makoli is uh, rice wine the first one was like the traditional one just the basic flavor which was nice it was like fizzy a little bit fizzy very refreshing, pairs really well with the John. And then, and then the next one we had, it was like a chestnut makoli, which is one of the most popular ones. Apparently, usually females drink it, it's very sweet. It had like no fizz, but it was nice as well. So I enjoyed that, we had a good chat. And then I just went to bed. And today I woke up, it's quite early, it's like 9.26, so I'm just actually having breakfast. Then I'm gonna start packing my shits. Uh, then I need to go to Olive Young by last few bits. And I want to go to Daiso to get like chopsticks and like pots for making jjigae, which is like stew and other bits and some souvenirs to bring home. And then I have the tattoo appointment. And then I'm gonna do a bit more shopping. So I'll go to, where am I actually going? 
Myeongdong, I think. So I'm going to Myeongdong and we'll get small souvenirs. And then I'm watching there with my friends, with other friends, the Nanta show. And I think then we're gonna get barbecue as my last meal. And then I will go home and that will be it because tomorrow I need to leave around like 8 a.m. <laughs> Then what we should do. London, we back, we back, we back. I can tell the post holidays depressions is already hitting. I woke up this morning after how long? I slept eight, maybe ten hours. I think I'm gonna struggle with jet lag, but it is what it is. So I got home around ten ish yesterday, and literally showered and went to bed. I was absolutely knackered. The fly from Seoul to London actually took 14 hours, which I still don't understand because when I flew London to Seoul, it was 12, but now it was 14, but hey ho. And I can already tell that I'm coming back. I definitely go back to Seoul and in Korea in general, like I want to visit another place. It's definitely gonna to go to Busan. I wanna to go to Jeju Island as well and I might have been already checking tickets uh, yesterday when I been on the way home from the airport. So who knows? Who knows? I have still about 10 days of holidays left. So maybe if I plan it smartly, I can go or maybe I can go in winter, do like maybe three weeks there. I don't know. I don't know. We will see. But the plan is definitely there. I haven't experienced as much and... Yeah, so the culture, the people, I met some loveliest people, literally stole my heart. So I think we're gonna go back for sure. Anyways, uh, this is basically ending to the soul vlogs. There will be another video when I'm kind of gonna do the summary of a trip, what I've seen, what I didn't see. I'm gonna put like kind of itinerary as well, what I did each day, if I can remember. And gonna put as well how much I spent for you Do you have kind of idea how much like two weeks in Korea with not really limiting yourself at all I didn't do as much shopping to be fair because obviously with my size it's almost impossible to find any clothing for myself but I did spend lots of money in Olive Young and on food and as and stuff like that but also not that much on food because my friends paid quite a lot as well but you know I'm just gonna put summary for you so yeah i hope you enjoyed this souls vlog and uh, this is essentially the ending clip so if you liked it please give it a thumbs up if you're new here please subscribe and also let me know if you enjoyed this if you would go to seoul if you've been already in seoul what i missed what i definitely need to check out next time and i see you in the next video then bye <music>